Who's that? That was Spence. Nana's had a fall. No, she's all right. The doctor's checked her over. She's just a bit shaky and... Well, Spence don't want to leave her on her own. Well, Tracy can handle the bar, can't she? Yeah, for a bit, but Kate, you know how mega busy it gets at lunchtime. And the thing is, I've told Spencer I'd go back. No, you said you was going to be here. Cat, don't. I'm not needed no, you here. You are. You are needed here. No, well, well, hold on. Listen to me, all right? You get through this today, all right? Come home and I'll get you through the night. Deal? But are you planning to do that? Well, I've got a few ideas, but we'll see how it goes, all right? Hey, hey, come on. Together, yeah? This comes out in court. What I said to Zoe, I really didn't mean it. I just... What about today? You were falling down drunk in there. I twisted my ankle. I shouldn't have worn my heels. Ever since I found out about Harry, I've blamed myself for what he did to you, for not protecting you. But this, what you've become. I mean, whose fault is this, eh? I don't understand. Horrible, twisted things happen to people all the time, Kat. But they don't all become... What? They don't all become you. Little Mo's in that court because of what happened to her. Things that I, I don't even want to think about. But she ain't drunk. She ain't crawling about in the gutter. So why are you? Well, you know, different strokes for different folks. <laughs> Go on, Kat. Here. Get a cab and go back home. Daddy, don't cost that much to get back to Walford. Yeah. They charge extra if you throw up in the back. 